Hi, I'm Officer Knutson, and in this video, I wanted to give viewers a look at our Unmanned Aerial Systems Program. Here at BPD, one of our six core values is innovation, because we realize that using technology is one of the key components to improving how we do our jobs and how we improve public safety. If you see some of the equipment off to the side here, we've come a long ways over the years in terms of technology, and I believe the UAS program is a prime example of that. In order to better understand the UAS program, Officer Subia will show you what it actually looks like to deploy a UAS out in the field, and you'll hear from Officer Horton who will tell us about how the program started and how he believes we're benefiting from this technology. Unmanned Aerial System, or UAS program, began at the Bellingham Police Department in early 2019. Uh, I saw it as a, uh, a technology that was coming to light as uh, showing great promise in, in helping our uh, men and women in the police department uh, accomplish their public safety goals. Our department has currently 10 officers on the uh, UAS program. Uh, we come from various disciplines within the department. Uh, from traffic officers to detectives. All our officers are FAA certified, as in we've passed a test that shows our knowledge of airspace awareness and UAS safety. UAS offers a number of advantages to our officers. Uh, it, it is that aerial uh, view that shows those officers on the ground what is happening uh, from 400 feet up in the air. That gives them real-time intel of, of what situations they could be walking into or what situations uh, that they're going to be confronted with. Our UAS program is limited in its uh, application. You know, in law enforcement, we're always balancing the right to privacy with law enforcement applications. And our policy is designed uh, to limit our use uh, to that within the Washington law. The Bellingham Police Department's UAS unit is new, but we've had many instances where we've been called out for uh, service. Uh, one of the instances I can remember is earlier this summer, we had a violent assault in the woods and we utilized UAS to locate the suspect and bring in ground resources to make the arrest. And one of the interesting facts from that case was the suspect was wearing a wig and had disguised himself to try to uh, make his way through the perimeter units. Common usage we've had is search and rescue. We've utilized it to look for elderly, uh, lost children, and other missing people. I've really enjoyed getting the program started. Um, I'm excited to see where we can take this program. I see it as a great benefit to our community and our officers.